Hello guys, in this video we will check the groove joint and the dumped spring joint. Let's start with the groove joint. The groove joint is like a groove that you can make in a body and make another body slide through this groove. So let's create our first body. This body will be a static body with a collision shape and a sprite. Let's add a texture and make the collision shape match the texture. Now let's add our second body. This body will be a rigid body with a collision shape and a sprite. And now we can add the groove joint. Now let's rotate the groove joint and increase his length. Let's change the position of the rigid body. And now we can go back to the groove joint and link the bodies together. Now let's create a script. This script will just apply an impulse to the right to the rigid body if we press up and apply an impulse to the left if we press down. And so we can see the rigid body is already sliding through the groove. If we want to stop the rigid body from swinging, we can go back and change the mode to character. Now let's make a second example. Our second example will be like this thing that you have in Chrono Trigger, where you can hit it with a hammer, and if you hit it strong enough, this object go up and hits the bell. This example is really similar to the first one. We will use basically the same things, a static body and a rigid body. So let's add the bodies, the collision shapes and the textures. Let's change the rigid body mode to character, so it will not rotate. Now we can add the groove joint and put it in the correct position. Let's change his size and set the bodies to link them. Now we can go back to our script and add an extra line to apply impulse to this rigid body. And let's change the impulse to the y axis. It needs to be negative because we want it to be to the up direction. Let's go back to our 2D scene because I made a mistake here. We need to put the rigid body exactly at the point marked at the groove joint because that will be the start position. So as I want the rigid body to start at the bottom, I will flip the groove joint. So now let's check the result.
and everything is working fine. Now we will see the next joint, that is the dumped spring joint. We can think at this joint like something similar to a spring or an elastic rope. We will see some examples so it will be easier to understand. So for the first example we will create a rigid body and a static body and link them together. And then we will see how the rigid body reacts when we move the static body. So let's create the bodies and put textures on them. Then we can create the damped spring joint and make the connection between the two nodes. Now we create a script to make the static body follow the mouse movement. Let's check it. Ok, so we can see how it works. But it will be better to see if we put a line between them. So let's do that. So we create a line 2D and then we go to our script to make the points. We will do that inside the process function because we want the line to be updated at every frame. So let's check it again. And so we can have a better notion of how the dumped spring joint behaves. And so we can start our last example. In this example we will combine two different joints. First the pin joint that we have seen in the last video and the dumped spring joint. Let's put the first example in a node just to organize our project. Then we can create a new static body and a new rigid body with collision shapes and sprites to start our new example. Then we can create a new pin joint 2D to fix the static body and the rigid body together. I will comment the code of the first example just to eliminate these errors. Let's change the gravity of the rigid body. And now we can see the rigid body moving down, but being still fixed to the static body by the pin joint. Now we can create a new static body and use a dumped spring joint to link this new static body to the rigid body. And so we can see that the spring joint is now holding the rigid body and pulling it back. Now to finish let's create an extra rigid body. Just let it fall at this wooden rigid body and see the spring joint pulling it back.
And so that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed, if so please consider subscribe, give a thumbs up, leave a comment and thank you for watching, bye.